I told myself the only thing that will make me just leave home. Yeah. Spend my fuel. You know, that's the biggest commodity. It's gold now. <laughs> to come. It can only be your show. Thank you. What a show I have for you today. My guest is the world famous Chinedu Ikedieze, one half of the dynamic duo that we know as Aki and Popona. I'm such a huge fan of Chinedu. I'm such a huge fan of Osita too. I've always known Osita, we've always talked on social media, but Chinedu I've never met. And so when we, we, we invited him and we found out that he's such a huge fan of the show, my heart was filled with warmth. And you could see it in, we were meeting for the first time, but the warmth was, you know, I love the way we call it Chu. Chu? You know, Chu, growing up, even as a little boy, I wanted to do many things. Chu, that, he said they called to that time. This was such a beautiful episode, and I'm so grateful to Shinedu for talking to me about things he has never shared anywhere else. He talked to me about the moment that he heard the doctor tell his mother that he had stunted growth. Something happened when I was like nine, nine years. I was like nine years, six months. Mm. I remember the man saying, Madam, what he has is stunted growth. I saw another word, growth retardation. Mm. I was looking for the meaning, looking for, uh, first of all, to pronounce that word retardation. My mom no goes now. So, what am I trying to say? Yeah. That was when I started hearing these words, these two words, stunted and retarded mm. growth. He says to me that he's never told anybody this, that he wanted to take his own life when he found that he wasn't growing as other children where he was bullied by friends, by schoolmates, even by his own family. Why they were throwing all those tantrums? I cried. I cried several times. Yeah. I cried, you know. It got bad, dude. There were times I thought of ending it all. Wow. Yes. So as a so child, I, you had to take your own life. Yes, at the time, I felt like... Thank God I know grow for you, so. <laughs> Don't me is no foul. <laughs> and he talks to me about why he wishes he were closer to his parents, um, why he's grateful to his mother for anchoring him. So when I remember how much input my mom, you know, how much she did mm. to see us through, you know, that would draw, make me draw empathy, you know. Yes, that's why you would not yeah, know. I become emotional. Kids, I want yes. to... I want to call her, I want to know how she's doing. But you know that kind of relationship that people have with their parents? No. Mm. You talk about the first moment he met Osita, you hear me? From the first day I met Osita, there was this chemistry. Right. It was just there. So I remember, you know, trying to devour him, you know, that day. Even while we were discussing, you know, if you see even the way people were looking at us. We talk about their Aki and Popo like a carpet with the American police. But when I was in the Yofim Academy, something happened. You know that there are security this thing. Do you notice that if kids get there, they will pass? <laughs> Me and Rosita got there. We had no money. <laughs> Rosita said, hey, do, hey, do. train is coming, the train, the train is coming. Before I could separate one from two, Rosita don't pass. I love it. <laughs> You know what I did? I was like, uh, 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 uh. I kept my guess like this because you know, I was seeing the camera. Of course, cameras everywhere. I pass. And that thread. Are you going to be on video? No, God, that's me on We talk about the remake of Akin Popo. There's no way you can just do a remake of Akin Okwa. We just the two of us. That was why we insisted that, that, that must, the family must be complete. Yeah, you know? yeah. And what do you think of the reception of it? Ooh, massive. And we talk about Ada Ame. Ada was like a mother. So it was like losing a part of me. That's the biggest shock of our lives. That's all of us on the Johnson. It broke us. So you've never, never, never seen Chinedui KDSA talk like this before. And I'm deeply honored deeply honored that he shared these stories with me. When you think about that person that wanted to take his own life, when you were standing in the presidential villa receiving your MFR, what would you say to that little boy that felt lonely and misunderstood? What would you have said to the boy? Congratulations, you finally made it. You finally made it. Yeah. 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 Must have been a huge moment. Yes. For you. Welcome to With Today. <laughs>